Okay, so now that we've set that special last line right in that feature, what I want to do is actually format all of this text using a nested style. Now, nested style really is the application of character styles within a paragraph. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight some of this neutral text and generate a new paragraph style. So I'll do that and we'll call that the price list. Click OK and then immediately after that apply that style. Now I'm not going to override any of the other formatting that I've done. I'm just going to do a single click on the price list in my paragraph styles list because I don't want to lose the remainder of the formatting. So having applied that, I'm now going to generate some character styles for the price. Fly out menu, new character style, we'll call that the, did I say price? I should call that the year, but I will create one for the price as well once we get to it. And we'll do one for the vehicle type. And I'm, I'm literally just highlighting little bit, bits of text that have been formatted the way I'd like them to be in the final output. So this is going to be the vehicle type. And we'll do another one. I don't need to do this bit in the middle because that's already been absorbed by that paragraph style that I've generated, as is the um, space before, space after, the right indentation settings, as well as the paragraph rule. So we'll grab that price and we'll crea now create a character style for the price. Okay, so having done all of that, I will apply this price list style. I'm actually going to force apply it now by clearing all the overwrites. I'm holding down the shift and the alt or option key as I'm clicking this. And this is sort of showing you what that price list is actually currently doing with its formatting controls. What I'm going to do is edit this and now assign some of those character styles that I've generated earlier to bits and pieces of the text. Now we're going to use the drop caps and nested styles feature for that, which is sort of halfway down the list of components that you've got in the paragraph style options. And I access that by double clicking the price list in the paragraph styles palette. Okay, so what I want to do, um, a nested style. Well, think, re read from sort of left to right and think, well, what do I want to start out with? Well, I'm encountering a year there. So what I really want to do is the first thing that I want to apply within this character style, in this paragraph style, sorry, is the character style year. And I want to apply that either through, means including four digits, or through one word, because this is a word, this is the first space, or up to a space, I'm actually going to go through four digits, not words, because you can actually see in the background, because I've got the preview button enabled, what happens when I'm doing this. And I always advise you to actually do that, because you can see what happens when you're setting things. So I just want to set this through to the digits. Okay. The next nested style and reference to character style that I want to include is going to be the vehicle type. Now that is going to go all the way through, that means including, that comma that sits right there. So through the very first comma that I encounter from the point where I've arrived in my in my paragraph. So I will make that a comma. So just overwrite the word words and enter the comma character. The next bit is a little bit more difficult because I've actually generated the formatting for this bit of text just using the price list paragraph style. So I don't really need to do anything there other than say, well, apply this style up to a particular point. Now there is a um, right indent tab there, and the hidden character for that is the caret Y. So what I could do is say, well, just until you encounter that particular character, or I could even say go right up to the dollar sign. I might actually do that. I changed my mind. It's easier because I'll just type the dollar sign in. So do nothing. Leave the things formatted the way they were with the price list up to the point where you encounter that dollar sign. Now from the dollar sign onwards, what you'd want to do is apply the price all the way through to the end. Click OK and there's your fully formatted nested paragraph style or paragraph style with nested character styles, whichever you prefer.